Hello, this is episode 4.5 of Isaac Sticks Heart Cinema. This is just Scott here. If you haven't listened to episode 4 yet, go listen to it, because if you haven't yet, you're doing it wrong. This is the second part of episode 4, which we split up into two manageable chunks, because we talked for way too long. So go listen to episode 4 if you haven't. If you already have, enjoy the thrilling conclusion of episode 4.5. <laughs> Scott Henson, you can start off, my friend. Happy to do it. Uh, would you like uh, Siblings? It's a movie with one or more siblings in the same movie. Wait, set, so... One set of siblings. Okay, so I was going to say, so it could Two, be just three. someone who has a brother is in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a movie with Luke Wilson in it. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to go with Manson Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, so a movie that has... Uh, uh, one set of siblings, or possibly three or four, if you're talking about a movie with all the bald ones in it, which I looked up, there isn't one. Uh, Disappointing, by the way. Because they're terrible. Um, okay, uh, pass all, Alec, they're terrible. Um, uh, would you like one that has... Uh, I don't want to do that one. Uh, so don't do it. I won't do that. A uh, movie where the protagonist dies. Okay. Or uh, bad movie titles. Ooh. Let's go siblings. Well, I only have two here, so 2006 or 1997. Uh, 06. 2006 movie with siblings in it. Oh, there's no... Okay, no. Okay, so <coughs> two and a half stars. Okay. Uh... Uh, it's smart, funny ideas by the director and the co-writer. Uh, can't quite keep this scatter shot movie afloat when it's got some laugh out loud moments. Barely released in theaters. Uh, Steven Root appears on Build. And it's got two, four, six, eight, ten names. Minus one. Ooh, interesting. I can't. I feel like I, I'll know it as soon as you name the actor. I hear a bunch of names. I appreciate that you pronounced it actor. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't go minus two, so I'm going to have to tell you to name it. I believe I am a witch <laughs> because I mentioned Luke Wilson, and I believe it is Luke Wilson in Idiocracy. Oh, you got it. Fucking A. Which one of his brothers is in it, though? Andrew. Damn it. What does he play? <laughs> a faggot. <laughs> I have no idea. I just remember Owen Wilson not being in it. But you were correct, sir, so... I never saw it yet, but see. It's good. I saw it on an aeroplane. It's funny. With my good friend, Alan Creasy. We watched it in one of those Ugh. mobile movie Alan's watchers. Alan's your friend? A friend could be a strong word. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. Hi, Al. Oh, yeah, you're not listening to it. Don't worry. I don't, I don't apologize. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, Justin, Big China Chew. Would you like, uh, okay, uh, American remakes of an international success? Uh, Tillam Defoe, movies where Willem Defoe dies? Or, uh, okay, let's go, uh, Gone Too Soon. Uh, which is a movie where one of the lead actors died before it was actually released. Hmm. Little remakes. Remakes. Would you like? See, I don't know how your dumb head works. <laughs> the reason you picked remakes because you're Chinese <laughs> and you're expecting a Chinese film to be remade in American and you know every Chinese film has been remade as an American movie. Am I right or am I right? You're partially right. <laughs> I don't know how your dumb head works. <laughs> okay. Would you like one from 2002, 2008, or 2010? 2010. 2010. Two stars. Uh... uh Let's see, what can I read? Uh, it's a generally well-acted thriller, occasionally strains credibility and fails to fulfill 
exploit some intriguing plot elements, uh, but the writer-director often graduates suspense and offers an exciting high-speed getaway in this Americanized remake of the... Should I say what it's a remake of, or not really? Hi. It depends how obvious you think it makes it. Uh, if, you, if you don't think it's no, obvious, I think you can go for it. It's a remake of the 2008 French thriller Poix Ali. Okay. And it's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, uh, 13 names. Hmm. This is 2010? 2010. Okay. Two stars. Remake of a French film. It's obviously a thriller because it's said it on three times. Yeah. 13 names. Two, 13 then. 12. 11. 10. Maybe talk louder than <laughs> 9. Name it. 9. Alright. 9 of 13. Maybe. Questionable. Borderline. Yeah, it's it's got some names, but <coughs> I don't know that... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll put them together. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh. One more might have helped. Hmm. But, Just as I planned. Um, Aisha Hines, Jason Beggy, B-E-G-H-E, The Rizza, Okay. Kevin Kurrigan, Helen Carey, Daniel Stern, Ty Simpkins, Olivia Wilde, and Lenny James. It's Home Alone 3. <laughs> it is Home Alone 3. It is an Olivia Wilde. <laughs> it's a hell of a cast. Yeah. Also good to know that it was bringing up a French film. Yeah. No, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> French film. Pas de maison. <laughs> Triple E translates to no house. <laughs> I'm an ass. Uh, oh, God. I have absolutely no clue. Once again, I am losing. <laughs> Do you... Forfeit? Yeah, I forfeit this one. Okay, the continuing names were Liam Neeson, Brian Dennehy, Elizabeth Banks, Russell Crowe. Uh, that Russell Crowe one. Um, yeah, what the fuck was it? Body of Lies? Oh. Was he in that? He was in that, but that wasn't it. I don't feel so bad, then. Uh, Body of Lies was earlier, wasn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Body, of Lies, Body of Lies is 2009, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is The Next Three Days. I've never heard of that. Uh, really? It would have been a while before I got there. Yeah. 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 Despite all the... That's a lot of cast. I, I knew. You know what? It didn't, it didn't have a very long uh, cinematic release. Mm. Uh, it was like pretty, pretty soon between uh, theater to... Uh, DVD, Blu-ray, yeah. etc. But it was like I, I thought it was good. It was, I thought it was better than two stars, but that's mm. just my opinion. Uh, so this time it is uh, back to Chewy, right? Uh, me, because you told him to name it though. Yeah, and last time he told me to name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I forgot how we're making this work. <laughs> okay, Scott, would you like for the win? If I understand. Uh, this is for the win, but should we go to five, or are we kind of long here? Four, four, sure. Uh, okay, let's go. No, best of seven. Um, man, I got so many here that I can't even. Okay, we'll, we'll do Iron Lady. So movies with a uh, female ro- robot. Female robot. Um, um, Fat Tattooey. Uh, movies of a fat comedian. Which we have established is not Kevin James. Which is not Kevin James. And, um, I don't... There's so many ones that I want to use, but, uh... Okay, let's go with another one that we did last time, which was All Bombs. So a movie that Leonard gave mm-hmm. a bomb to. Let's go... Let's go in the spirit. Fat Tattooey. Fat Tattooey. Okay, would you like one from... Uh... Pretty sure we only oh yeah, used that one last time. Uh, would you like two thousand? Okay, let's do that one again. <laughs> would <laughs> I got you a like, good idea what it is. Would you like two thousand eight, two thousand ten, or two thousand ten? Ooh, I would Before like. Yeah, <laughs> the first two thousand and ten. Okay. Did I choose right? You see, you made it sound like I chose like I picked the wrong two thousand ten. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I'm screwed here. Okay, uh, two stars. Eh, eh. sure. Why not? 
Fair enough. Uh... Uh, da, 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 da. It, it's a, a shameless echo of another movie, and it follows its template pretty closely. Uh, every time the main character is ready to... Uh, oh, can't read the text. Um, only the skill of the lead actors keeps this from being a total waste of time. Um, the director and co-writer has a cameo in the film. And it's two, four, six, eight, ten names. Hmm. Oh, nine. Oh, eight. Seven. How many? Ten? Ten. Six. Name it. Okay, it's going to be tough. But, That's uh, what I like to hear. <laughs> Mimi Kennedy. Brody Stevens. Good man. Matt Walsh. Positive energy. That's for Brody Stevens, not Matt Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Rizza again. <coughs> Because apparently I love RZA movies. Uh, Danny McBride, Juliette Lewis. Six. That was it. Top top two would have helped you. Maybe top three. <laughs> it started as The Hangover, and then yeah, went yeah, yeah. somewhere else. Well, I don't think RZA's in The Hangover, is it? No, but like uh, Danny McBride in The Hangover. No, but uh, and then Bruce Stevens and, 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 and Matt Walsh back to back. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so maybe there were no Hangover Stevens movies. Walsh, in RZA, Danny McBride, Juliette Lewis. 2010, a fat comedian. I'm not gonna lie, Juliet Lewis is a monkey wrench in this cast. Juliet Lewis <laughs> is a terrible human being <laughs> who I wish would die of AIDS. So, <laughs> does she play a retard or a serial killer? Both. I figured. A, re- a retard <laughs> serial killer. She's got to look down for every movie, yeah. so. <laughs> End life. Um, that's a movie we have to watch. The yeah. other sister. Oh. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I meant life. I was like, that's a good one. We yeah, do watch life, though. I can't believe How Did This Get Made hasn't done the other sister. Maybe one of them is friends with Giovanni Ribisi or something. Because yeah. <laughs> that, I haven't seen the movie. It looks bonkers. It really does. Any movie where anyone has to play a retard. Retard love story is what the movie is. Yeah, I know. So... Look, I was saying, any movie that someone has to play a retard is Dancing Up the Night with two retards as the main characters. Oh, boy, yeah. I don't know if I can sit through that. I really don't. I mean, I can, obviously, <laughs> but it's going to be you've, fucking You've tough. done worse. Uh, yeah. So, what do you, what do you think? Chewie, you got anything? Um, not much at this point. So it's that group. I'm going to... I'm going to throw out Paddle Express solely for Danny McBride. Paddle Express, ooh. But Danny McBride probably would have been higher, higher than that. Yeah. Uh, the next names on the list are Jamie Foxx, Michelle Moynihan, Zach Galifianakis, and, oh. and Robert Downey Jr. Do, do you date. fucking date. Was that also Todd Phillips? Yes. Todd okay. Phillips was the director and made a yeah, very so. brief appearance in it. Okay. <laughs> Well, Chewie's getting killed again, yep. like usual, but yeah. okay. Hot comeback time. Hot comeback time, maybe. Four in a row. Four in a row. Four Four in a row. Having me. Okay, so, uh, Red Scott. Sox. <laughs> Scott, you? No, it's Chewie now. This, yeah, no, me. you told him to name it. Yeah. 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 Okay, would you like, I'm giving you this category, because somebody's picking it at some time, because I got a lot. Uh, black that gas up. I'm going to go Jack Black or Kyle Gas, or both. Okay. Um, in that category. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I love that one, but I'm not going to overuse it. Um, the, the, no, you hate that one. I'm not going to give you that one. Uh, Flight of the Phoenix, a movie of Joaquin or River. Okay. Um, or, uh, man, I've got so many, I don't even know where to choose. Sure, I love how overwhelmed you are with your own categories. Uh, I, you know what, I like this one, so we'll go Gone Too Soon, where the actor died before it was released. Drew, one of the main actors was dead. Definitely. Drew, I'm going to ask you... To black that gas up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> finally, it's about time. I've only used. I think that's like the second time I've used it, so I shouldn't be super excited about <laughs> it. But, uh, but seriously, I wrote down. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thirteen movies that feature one of them or both of them, and I will give you a hint: none of them are tenacious D in the pick of destiny. Yeah. Uh, okay. Man. Would you like one from two thousand seven? Ooh, um, 2007, 2002, 
or 1996? I don't know how much I trust 1996. That's like pre Tenacious D anything. 97, 96. And what was the other one I said? 2002. 2002, yeah, yeah. 2002, 2002. Let's go. Huh. Let's go 02. I don't know what the hell 96 would be. I guess Jack Webb's in a couple things. Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Uh, does it count if <laughs> Leonard does not credit them in the starring? I'll take it into consideration, because obviously you picked the movie knowing they're in it. Oh, I looked, so. I looked off of their IMDb's, yeah. and it had this listed as it. So obviously his role is not important enough to the list. Okay. Um, okay, so it's uh, one and a half stars. I disagree. Should be a bomb. Oh, okay. Easily should be a bomb. I see. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a revenge slash teen exploitation comedy. Has enough quirks to make one wonder what might have been with a better script, better director, and better actors. Oh, so if it was better all around, it makes you wonder what it would be like if it was better. <laughs> yes. Uh, Good. Yeah. Two thousand two, one and a half stars, way too high, and it's got twenty actors. And it's revenge slash teen exploitation comedy. Yes. What the fuck? And it was a it should have been a bomb. It's that horrible, horrible movie. Let us open the bidding at seventeen. Let's go sixteen. Fifteen. Name it. Ooh, so all of the top five, huh? Well that makes it easy for me to count. So fifteen of twenty plus either Jack Black or Kyle Gass. Yes. Okay, here it is. Horatio Sands, Tony Hawk, Cool Mo D. David Hasselhoff, Henry Rollins, Vanilla Ice, Tommy Lee, Charlie O'Connell, Jerry O'Connell, Elena Douglas, Jeffrey Lewis, MC Ganey, Gene Simmons, Perry Sheen, and Jared Mixon. That's stupid. <laughs> uh... Was Detroit Rock City a movie? It was. Was this that movie? Is that your guess? Yes. You are incorrect. Damn it. The next list were Eddie Griffin, Lyle Lovett, Zoe Deschanel, Eliza Dushku, and DJ Qualls. The new guy? The new guy. Kyle Gass is in this one. I did not know there were that many music people in The New Guy. Yes, there are people who are teaching him to be cool. Or maybe they're all prisoners when he's in jail? Weird, yeah. I wouldn't have got that until DJ Qualls. I hate that movie. I think it's fucking horrible. So it should have been way worse than a... The comeback is happening. Hey, that's one for <laughs> Come back, Three to one. The, um... I do, I do have... I have a new guy tidbit. The, uh... The IT guy who used to work out of our office... Uh... Saw the new guy... Yeah, the new guy was 2002. He saw it in 2010. And I guess at some point when DJ Qualls gets some confidence and does something to someone, he goes, like, who's the bitch now? And our very Chinese IT guy loved that line, uh, but somewhat uh, didn't get it right. And he did something he was very proud of, and he goes, what the bitch now? <laughs> I like it. Been, it. Which has been a running joke in our office for two years now. <laughs> two years. A year and a half after the guy has left. <laughs> <laughs> so he no longer works there. And Does not, has not worked there since December 2010. That is great. Yes. That is amazing. <laughs> wow, how the comeback has started. The comeback has started. And I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> Justin Picks. Justin Picks. Okay, Justin Chu. Mm -hmm. Of Chinese descent. I feel like I should be lounging more than I am. Uh, would you like... <laughs> it's an awkward lounge. <laughs> it's not comfortable at all. Uh, can you want me to paint you like, like those French girls? I would like you to paint me. If I can get into a good position, I would like you to paint me. Until then, don't. Mm -hmm. so it'll be a, mostly, a waste of everyone's time. Mostly scenery, but sometimes news. <laughs> Does it work? 
<laughs> would you like to? Would you like? Um, fuck. If if only you, the radio roll, could see what I see right now. <laughs> Just uncomfortable, Scott, having a bad time trying to get. Can't lounge. Okay. Would you like Down Under, which is a movie that has down or under in the title? Quickly, Down Under. I don't think I wrote that one down, but I should have. He didn't say down and under. <laughs> Shut it. Uh, would you like... Uh, uh. Don't be all damn like oh, Donkey. I, I really want... I'm going to use this one because I know how much Scott hates the title of it. Hates the title of it. Deuce Bigelow, European Film Alone. I do hate that. Movie filmed in a European city. Because it doesn't fucking rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's... I understand yes, the concept on it. There. It just sounds like shit. <laughs> well, it works. So just live with it. Or would you like, uh, friggin' hell, um, let's go, let's go all bombs again, so who you the honor gave a bomb to? Let's go down under. Down and under. Way back in my, uh, back catalog towards the beginning. Okay, would you like one from, uh, 2003, six or 2001? 96. Let's go for it. 96. Mm-hmm. Oops. Hey, spell this bullshit. There you go. Two and a half stars. Okay, sure. Why not? You can give stars to things for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. Uh, Don't hurt yourself. Man, this is pretty tough to not say anything. Um, okay, it's... Uh, I hope I don't give this away. A mild comedy flows, or follows, flows, follows the misfits make good formula fairly well, surprisingly well-developed plot lines, but not enough laughs. Twelve names. Let's start off with twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Name it. Okay. I said twelve, right? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Uh, it's a shame Kelly Summers isn't here for this, because his favorite actor of all time, Harlan Williams. <laughs> Jonathan Penner. Dwayne Martin. Toby Huss. I know Toby Huss. Ken Hudson Campbell. William H. Macy. Harry Dean Stanton. Rip Torn. And Rip Schneider. Hmm. Two and a half stars, 1996. That was 9 of 12? So... That so nine of twelve. Just missing the top top three. three. I I think only number one would have given it away. Okay. I don't know that two or three would have helped you that much. Down or under the top comedy, right? Yeah. Uh, misfits make good. Down. All I got. Is down periscope. Scott Henson squashed the comeback. Yes. Wow. Did you name number one? Uh, now I always confuse it and Mikhail's Navy. One's Kelsey Grammer, one's Tom Arnold. I think down periscope is Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. Yeah. Kelsey Grammer, Lauren Holly, and Bruce Dern were the top three. Yeah, and Grammer's definitely the only giveaway. So I'm very proud of myself for that one, by the way. <laughs> So does that mean that, that Chewie's 0 and 4? Yep. Jeez. He's due. He needs to start picking up some movies here. That are movies that only I know the answers to. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so now we switch to me hosting, and I guess we need to build that title. Let's go with... Uh, something with decent on both sides. Um, little Women. <laughs> I'm not going to use Men in Black because we always use Men in Black. That's true, we do. There's got to be more things that start with men. <laughs> yeah, I, I've thought of at least one already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bunch. Stuart Little Women. There you go. Uh, Stuart. 
Have I just effectively killed off one end of that? Kind of. I think we had the pro this problem last time where we also had Stuart Little, and then we were trying to think of stew, and then you yeah. kept thinking of, was it something soup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, I wanted to do duck stew. <laughs> stew uh, <laughs> the Marx Brothers, the well, no, Marx Brothers yes. movie. Yes. But uh, the, it turns out the dish was not as thick, and it was, in fact, duck soup. <laughs> Uh, I will go Stuart Little Women Who Stare at Goats. Very good. Goats is not easy to <laughs> No. <laughs> it is well, not. Neither is Stu. Hey, man, I play for keeps. Oh, no shit. I don't know what goats is. Goats? The goat is a disgusting thing that happened to me. Mm. I got goated in the hockey dressing room a couple weeks ago. <laughs> well, it happens to bad times. Goes. Oats, comma, and Hall, or Hall and the movie? Life through the Budokan. <laughs> Life through the Budokan. Don't know if that's Live guess. from Rock and Rio? Sure. Live from. Yeah, I'm gonna stop my jokes. I feel like Goats is a stopper. And Stu or Stewart might be as well. Those are tough. But I don't know. Prove me wrong. No, oh, that's going to be tough. I'm, I'm going to say I can't. I got nothing to add on either. I don't know if... I have nothing either. Go yeah, goats. I think goats you can pretty much forget about. And, I don't know, there could be some... It's it's hard to search for uh, movie title endings. It's easy to search for ones that they start with, but... Anything for goats or oats? Nothing for goats or oats. Should we just... Should we do another one, or you want that one to be the winner? Uh, we can do another one, providing uh, you win it. <laughs> um, let's go with... Uh, You're going to look up the current movies, aren't you? And they're all going to suck like last time. There, no, I realize there are no good uh, current movies for Build the Title. I don't know why that's the case, but uh, it is. Um, let's go... Let the Right One In. Hmm. Who's starting? Uh, Justin. Because if he can't think of a movie that starts with in, he deserves to kill himself. <laughs> or ends with let. I think let's harder, but you. There, I'm sure there's something you can do with it, but I think in is the first word is pretty wide open. We got one. Let the right one in good company. There you go. Uh, let the right one in good company men. Yep. <laughs> if you say men who stare at goats, <laughs> you are a professional son of a bitch. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I'd be impressed. <laughs> the old goat face turnaround. <laughs> the old goat face turnaround, huh? That's, uh... Something I don't get called very often. Um, let the right one in good company. <laughs> Men in Black 2. <laughs> good enough for me. Um has to start with Black 2. <laughs> <laughs> Black to the future? Black to the future. Uh, I don't want to use the the one that we keep using every time we get a 2. This is too fast, too furious. <laughs> There's lots of 2s out there. Like anything that starts with T-O is good. Doesn't but it's T-W-O. But it's not spelling, it's just sound. That's true. Uh... I thought of a dumb one. <laughs> um, it's actually been a Leonard Walton answer before. Uh, uh, so is this the same one I'm thinking of? Was the, category, was the category bad movie titles? Yes. Yes. <laughs> then it is. Too long food, thanks for all the... Uh, <laughs> thanks, for thanks for all the fish. Thanks for all the... Douglas Adam writes a cross-dressing movie. <laughs> Uh, 21 Jump Street? No. 
I'd say more often than not, I don't. I don't think you need to be reaching. There's a lot of things that I start just, with T.O. I just don't want to take the easy way out, too. <laughs> um, why am I blanking on this? I'm going to see how many movies start with the word two. Oh, look, a to, thousand. To kill a mockingbird. <laughs> Good enough. Going Gregory Peck on your ass. Scouting Boo Radley in tow. Oh, my God. I just thought of a great one. I love Gregory Peck, by the way. I've only seen a very select amount of his work. I've only seen like three or four films, but he's been excellent in everything I've seen. So, what did we start with again? Uh, let the right one in, the right company one. men in black let to kill a mockingbird. Bird. Hey, we actually sort of got something going this yeah, time. Yeah, we've had a few. It's good. Let the right one in... And we're only at an hour 42. Yeah, feeling good. Men in black to kill a mockingbird. Spoiler, we're going over two hours. Oh, yeah, easily. Bird on a wire. Yep. Mel Gibson, Goldie Hawn. Yep. Wire, eh? What? Damn it, now I can't use Brick What? And now I can't use Brick <laughs> No, that would be good. Uh, on a wire. Maybe something with... Wire, wire all the good ones taken. Is that a movie or just I'm a phrase? Fairly certain that's a movie. No, I don't know, I just... <laughs> Sounds like it's a 50s or 40s movie. <laughs> starring... It, it really does, actually. Starring... I don't know, Ethel Merman. <laughs> <laughs> Classic 50s actor, Ethel Merman. Um, it's only because I watched Airplane today, and she was in that as herself, and uh, it was fantastic. <laughs> but I did have to Google who she was. <laughs> the, uh, nothing, unfortunately, is coming up for a while, all the good ones taken. I, I do love that as, uh... As an addition, though, for 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 for, for wire w yeah. i r e wire all the good ones taken. I think that's great. I I wish it was real. I wish yeah. for your sake it was real. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. Heard on a wire. Ours is not a simple world. No. Wired science. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this spell weird and just be dyslexic and get away with it. <laughs> No, no wired science. I feel like I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. You might and be. The no pants was a terrible idea. We'll be. see how this plays out tomorrow. No shirt doesn't bother me. They like your sweet, juicy blood. I do. They it's like your tender kitty blood. Look at that. Look at, the, look at those calves. Yeah. Stop fucking your calves. Feel it. <laughs> I feel like... Flies are coming next. <laughs> the big guns. <laughs> I feel like I'm... I'm not going to think of anything without killing a shit ton of time, so I think it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. I, I got nothing coming up with that starts with wire as it's spelled, um, hmm. so that might be tougher than we think. And ending in let, off the top of my head, I don't have anything. Yeah. It, well, like, grammatically, it's unlikely anything ends in let. You, you're going to have to be creative. Room to let. Room to let. British comedy from the 70s. Please let that be a thing. <laughs> Room to let. <laughs> no. Ah. This a pointing. Yeah, I, I feel like you'd need let as part of a, as owl part of a word. Yes, if there's something about young owls. <laughs> what was the one? I thought of something silly and then forgot it. Something along the lines of, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> no, was it? Uh, I don't remember now. It was something silly that wouldn't be a movie. But uh, I was thinking, uh, maybe a piglet, the piglets, niglets. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Good thing we have no black listeners, <laughs> especially in Seattle. Yeah. Well, it's all right. Let's, let's get this game yeah. rolling. I want something. You did win something. You get to pick first. That might be the last thing you win ever. Yeah. The first and last win of your life. Congratulations. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Well, I got some old classics and some... New hotness? Fun new hotness. 
So let's go with a combination of the two. Number one, Oldie But a Goodie, Best Picture Losers, nominated for and did not win Best Picture. Let us, let us also go, I'm Cohen Insane, the films of the Cohen Brothers. Oh, I thought you were going to say films featuring a Leonard Cohen song. <laughs> also good. Or perhaps Sasha Baron Cohen. Or yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen. And, of course, in theaters, Meow. <laughs> Movies featuring a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> I can think of two off the top of my head. Let's go... Puss in Boots. <laughs> three, I can think of three off the top of my head. Let's go... 1993, 2000, and 1951. 1951, wow. Did you just type in movies that have a cat and it came up with 1951? No, these are off the top of my head. Oof. I don't think I've seen many movies before 1960. There's a good chance you've seen this. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen now. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that really happened or not. <laughs> 51, 93, 2000. Come on, meow. Big category. Big category. Right meow. Did you just say meow? <laughs> Did I just say meow? Pick a category. Chicken fucker. <laughs> <laughs> 2000. 2000. I have an idea for 2000. I really hope it's not that one. 2000. We are looking at two and a half stars. Eight cast members. Not what I was thinking it was. Uh, what can we say about it? We can say that it's a uh, funny setup, ideal cast, but the results are frustratingly uneven. Based on a low-budget film of the same name from 1992, which I did not know, followed by a sequel and co-produced by one of the stars. Two and a half stars, 2000, a cat is in it, and that other stuff I said. Oh man, I thought of a couple other ones that have cats in them, but none of them were from that year. Start with eight. Eight of eight. Seven. Six. Name it. Got a good chance. Okay. Seven or eight would be a lot better, but eh, you, yeah, you got to try. We got Phyllis George. Owen Wilson, billed pretty low. Uh, John Abrahams, James Rephorn or Rephorn, or do we know? I don't know who you're talking about. It's, yeah. uh, Terry Polo and Blythe Danner. I know the names. I don't know movies that they're in together. Bl Blythe is the biggest help, for sure. And I guess low build Owen Wilson. I feel like I'm on the right path, but I don't think this is the right answer. Go ahead. Trust yourself. I believe in you. Ooh. I don't think I, I, I don't think that you're right at all. I'm not going to say Clue. No. You are... Uh, 20 years? 15, 16 years off. I want to say... I, 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 for whatever reason, I thought it was a remake around that time. <coughs> oh, I so see. You're thinking remake. I've, I've never heard of the original this is based on. Okay, that's probably not what I'm thinking it is. Is there a Catherine Zeta-Jones in this movie? No. Okay, that's not what I was thinking. What were you thinking? The Haunting? Is that what it's called? Yeah. That, 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 that. That's not... Because I, I know Owen Wilson's in that, and yeah. he would have been really lowly yeah. old in that yeah. movie. That's not a comedy, though, is it? No. Oh, yeah, a comedy. I totally didn't Fun, even think... Funny setup, ideal I didn't... Cast. I just yeah. zoned out on to low, Owen Wilson, lower bill. That's all You'll I zoned on. both probably get it if I give you one more. All right. Ben Stiller? No idea. Oh. Uh, I, I can see the movie. I don't, I don't even know, know who that is. is. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> is, it, is it Meet the Parents? It is Meet the Parents. There's two sequels to it. Why does this one not say two sequels? I'm guessing the review was... It was completely not what I was thinking. Between... <laughs> Fuck you, Leonard. Two and three. Fuck you. I can say it's involved by two sequels, but it doesn't say that in the review, and I am a stickler so for the rules. De Niro was first. 
De Niro first, Stiller second. Okay. Which, sense. I don't know, I think Stiller had more screen time. He did, yeah. but, De- but it's De fucking De Niro. De Niro's you can't put De Niro as so not number one. I guess. Probably wasn't what I was thinking. So one for Drew, and Drew picks the... I, I, feel, like, I feel like I was just thrown off by Spike Banner, because I envisioned her in the role of the old lady in the game 13 Dead End Drive. <laughs> And so I was fixated on that board game or a board game of similar ilk. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson to you, I guess. Yeah. A very specific lesson that will never come up again. Yes. <laughs> All right. I want to get out of the disturber turn on and keep blowing your chest there. <laughs> no, I'm just showing it to Scott. Oh. These are real. <laughs> <laughs> Let's These go real. with Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline, Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline, Adrenaline Rush. Rush. The movies of Jeffrey Rush. Four letter movies. And Pirates one. Pirates two. Pirates four. <laughs> and bet you can't name the whole title. Oh, I hate that one. I love that one. Great one. Oh god. So sorry, Jeffrey Rush four letter titles and Bet you can't name. Them. Let's go with I wanna keep this game fun, so let's go with Bet You Can't Name the Whole Title. Oh boy, two thousand three, two thousand ten. Let's go 2003. Good luck. Fucking luck. I might even give you more of the review, just because I... Because even if I know the movie, I might not be able to get the whole title. (laughs) Well, the last one we had was Tintin, right? And Kelly almost got it. So close. Just one word. word. It was was actually the secret of the unicorn, and he said, like, the The, something of the unicorn. Yeah, or he just said, like, yeah, the... Legend yeah. of the Unicorn or something? Yeah, it was like, it was, yeah, it was like yeah, one, yeah, word, one off. word off. And, but it was That's not even that long. Yeah. That's just you couldn't, you'd, if you didn't know the actual title of the movie. I didn't yeah. know there was a full title to it. There is one that I really hope you have on your list, because it is going to be fucking tough. <laughs> Unless I get it, because I'm going to know it. Yeah. But. We got 11 actors in this. We got three stars, too many. <laughs> three stars, too many, or just too many? Three is too many. Oh, so it should have been a bomb. It, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if three is three too many, but it's just it three should, is it shouldn't be that high. Many. It shouldn't be three. Uh, lavish adaptation of Patrick O'Brien's series of novels. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Heavier on atmosphere than on story, but the lead is ideal. The human element is nicely played, and the physical production is impressive in every detail. Uh, Oscar winner for best cinematography and sound editing. Um, I'm even going to go back and give you a word I didn't. Uh, it's a series of naval novels. It says in the review. So you can have that little sniglet too. A series of naval? Yeah. You know, novels about your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, we're going to go Eleven. Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to say eleven. <laughs> uh, I feel like... What year was this again? 2003. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know the movie. I know I know the movie, but I don't know the full title. <laughs> which is what's fucking killing me. Love it. Very happy about this. Everything's going for the uh, plan. God damn it. I know the first part. I don't know the second part. Could you go minus one? You could go minus one and I name can... the lead actor and half of the movie title? Yes. I love it. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> such a cocksucker. Very happy. Everything's coming up, Scott. See, he, he just screwed himself, though, by saying that he doesn't know the whole title. Yes. So he either tells me to name so it with the second the full he says cast. Something, you say name it. Yeah. <laughs> either I get the full cast, or he has to try and name it but not know the rest of the title. Yeah. That's true. Interesting. You should have kept your big mouth oh, shut. My puppets are dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Pull those strings, puppet master. Dr. Bank, and you don't know the title either. Yes. Yes, but if I get the full cast, maybe I know it. Maybe it'll come to him. Right now, I'm not sure if I know it. This is the tricky piece of business. I love this game. <laughs> so, what, uh, what say you? I don't want to give Drew the point. Not immediately. I'll go off putting sound. 
So I drink. I do name it. Full cast, huh? Full cast. I'm okay with this. David Throwfall, Robert Pugh, Richard McCabe, Chris Larkin, Mark Lewis Jones, George Innes, Lee Ingleby, James Darcy, Billy Boyd, Paul Bettany, Russell Crowe. Is your full cast? Oh, if I tried shit. really hard, I could have named this. I could have named the second building as well. Oh. I would have never been able to name the second building. <laughs> Is it terrible that I could only think of the fake Family Guy name for this movie? <laughs> Russell Crowe fighting around. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 so far. Sorry, Ma- Master Bader and Commander. <laughs> so we're about to hit hard waters. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, but Sarah, yeah, I'm almost right done. Just hold on. <laughs> uh, <it's... sighs> so it's Master, a... Master Commander. Colon. Colon. <laughs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> I'm okay with this one. <laughs> I know Drew's not going to get it either. I hope he pulls it out. It'd be amazing. Oh my god, really. so I'll just leave. Just a I, standing I, ovation I, for I, people I, we didn't know were here. I have an idea. I'm gonna look it up now. Master and Commander, colon, colon, some other stuff. Uh, like, <laughs> it is not fighting around the world. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. This is exactly how this category is supposed to go. You don't use a full head on the Wikipedia. You I know, as soon as I hear it, I'm going to be mad. Oh, yeah. That I know you're going to be like, furious. You're going to be furious. I, I would have been furious, too, but I would have never gotten it. It's like... like I would have been able, never been able to figure it out on my own. I, I, I know it's sim, like not it's something, but I'm just going to say... That Master and Commander. Master and Commander. Like, I'm just going to take a guess that it's like... It's like, I don't know, <laughs> bounties on the high sea. <laughs> it's something like... Drew, what if I told you <laughs> that it is Master and Commander, bounties on the high sea. <laughs> I will kiss your mouth. I will open mouth. I'll bury you. I will bury you. <laughs> Master and Commander, the far side of the world. Uh, you know what? I thought it was something about the world, but I'm like, no, that's Pirates it's of the Caribbean. Pirates. Yeah. Fuck. Pirates fucks you up. No, I'm tied with Chewie. Tied with Chewie. Uh, <laughs> truly, the cruelest of fates. <laughs> the, uh, oh, I'm still here, guys. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, they did a nasty fucking one on uh, on Douglas movies. They did um, uh, Zathura, that like space Jumanji, yeah, yeah. but it's not just Zathura, yeah. which I it's never knew. Whole... It is Zathura, a space adventure. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard that. Well. If you don't have the other one on the, your list, I'm mm, serious. I'm pro. I don't know. I only got. I don't know. Do you, is it from 2010? Is that the only ones you have? I, that's all I got. Can I? Can I say it out loud? I don't have it. And if you're sure it's not from 2010, it's not from 2010. Okay. Well, go ahead. I want to know if either one of you can name it. All right. Do you give us the first half? I will give you the start of the title. You have to get the rest of it. Okay. okay. Borat. Oh. Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. Good stuff. You are welcome. Fantastic. I didn't know that anybody would get that. Would you have gotten that? <laughs> I would have gotten bits and pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, add it and play it when I'm not around. But I'm here every time because we do it at my house. Oh. <laughs> I guess you guys can just show up at my house and do it on the balcony. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Do it on Sunday. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Sunday Film Festival. Sunday Film Festival. <laughs> I like it. We need to get a projector <laughs> yeah. there somewhere. A dirty projector. Get the dirty projector oh. to play. Hey. Uh um, getting Dan back in the show. <laughs> hey, Dan's back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Google alerts for indie bands. <laughs> <laughs> and Gordon Lightfoot. Yes. Yes. Is Dirty Projector a band? Yeah. Dirty Projectors is a band, yeah. Uh, okay. I've never heard of this. Well, you I'm not a don't have to. I'm not a hipster. <laughs> Although, people tell me I 
Damn. This is your stupid glasses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, don't worry. I'm going to get contacts and learn to touch my own eyes. Ugh. I can't do it right now, but I, I will. I can't do it right now or ever. I'll teach myself. I'll toughen myself up. Toughen up your eyes? Yeah. Get a, <laughs> stick a knuckle in there every now and then. <laughs> Dig it in there. And rough up that... Or just, like, sandpaper your cornea. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roughen up, toughen up my eyes and become a man and learn to drink Guinness while not throwing up afterwards. Because <laughs> I've tried twice, and both times I wanted to puke. Oh, for two. You're bad at drinking Guinness. It makes you it makes you a man if you can do it. So right now, I am a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, who is... All the time. <laughs> Who's picking? Justin's picking. Justin's picking. Score is 1-2-1. One, one. Let's go with... That's not good for the audio. Oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have left this milk cup on my table. <laughs> Let's go with... Last time we talked about it, we came Oh, back. man. That was so good. <laughs> Let's go with Razzie winners for Worst Picture. Mm-hmm. Let's go with Mr. Anderson, the films of Wes and or Paul Thomas Anderson. And... Squeal Like a Pig, the movies of Ned Beatty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great title. <laughs> Oh, Razzies. Razzies. 1999, 2003, 2010. It's 93. 90, 99, 99, sorry. 2010. You want 99? Yeah. Okay. It has 10 actors in it. It has oh. been rated one and one half stars by Leonard Maltin. Seems high for a Razzie winner. It, but he sometimes does that, though. Don't mess with the Zohan was two stars by Leonard, so mileage may be. It was his second <laughs> highest Adam Sandler like, movie, so be wrong. Yeah. he sometimes doesn't get things correct. Yeah, sometimes he's drunk. We've established. All right, he's an, he's an alcoholic. Absolutely. Drunk Leonard, and this. Oh, sorry, uh, I was going to say this hasn't been reviewed, but it has. There we go. Uh, one and a half stars. Um, ten people in it. What can we say about it? We can say it is a rehash of a 1960s TV series. We can say it's overstuffed with visual gimmickry, but leaden in every way. You can hear the banter landing with a thud every few minutes. And that's what I can say about it. Is it 60s TV show or 70s? Rehash of a 1960s TV series. So what do we start the bidding at again? Start the bidding at ten. Let's go with that. All right. I uh, will go with nine. Eight. Seven. Name it. Fuck you. Mm. Seven of ten. Doesn't help. Noble. You got a bet to work with. Ugh, I don't like a bit. I like a lot. <laughs> Eight is a lot better. Yeah, obviously. Nine or ten is a gimme. Thanks for that one, Tess. So yeah. I'm just about to say, seven you can do. Sophia Eng, Musetta Vander, Frederic Vanderwall, everyone's favorite, Byling. Oh, yeah, Byling would not touch her with my neck. <laughs> M. Emmett Walsh, hmm. Ted Levine, and Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek. Worst movie of the year in 1999, according to some people, based on a 1960s TV series of the same name. What the hell was Selma Hayek doing in... I can think of other movies she's in, but not that would be remakes of a 60s TV show. And it's definitely not Get Smart. No. This is the only other thing that was a remake I could think of. <laughs> that came a little later. Oh, God damn it. About ten years. It out. But I can't talk about it because <laughs> I have no goddamn idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna be losing a chewy. Losing the chewy. The worst insult at this game. No offense. <laughs> he's tweeting. I'm, he's not I'm even. only right here. He's not. He's <laughs> it's just. Fine. It's fine. He can tweet and it'll be fine. The only movie I can think of is, and it's not even that movie, is from Dust Till Dawn. It is not that. What if I was to tell you that the lead actor 
sang a song for the movie, which was the title of the movie. The Wedding Singer? No, because Adam Sandler did not sing <laughs> The Wedding Singer. <laughs> but La Bamba? Will Smith did sing Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah. Wiki Wild. Wiki Wiki Wild. You know what? I, I, I don't think I've seen that. I honestly don't think I've seen that. that movie before. I think that might be one of the only Will Smith movies I've never seen. Really? It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's quite not good. It's <laughs> pretty bad. It's, Although uh, we do get to see Kenneth Branagh calling Will Smith a nigger. nigger, which is pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I could think about that. Yeah, Kenneth Branagh is a uh, well-spoken racist. <laughs> <laughs> I believe, by my count, the score is two-one for Chewie. Well, maybe if I had seen that movie, I would have known that Salma Hayek was in it. <laughs> and the only people I know that were in that movie are Kenneth Branagh, Will Smith, and Kevin Klein. Yeah. Yes, correct. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. And Chewie picks again. Let's go with uh, Beetle Mania. Movies with the name of a beetle in them. Uh, let's oh. go. Oh, nobody's we're... gonna make the joke today. No, we Damn can't it. do it every time. <laughs> well, Kelly did last time. Kelly's dead. <laughs> Kelly is sleeping. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. He's in the driveway. He's in the driveway. Dead. <laughs> So, Beetlemania, uh, double vision movies where the same word appears twice in the movie, and movies I love. Double so, vision. Double vision. 2005 or 1979? Oh, five. Sorry, said, this is double vision? Yeah. Okay. Same word appears twice. Two stars, 12 actors. What can I tell you about it? Let's find out right now. I had the letter app. I could write mine down, too, but I don't. Ooh. Stupid information pad. Your jealousy is palpable. Let's see. Okay. Two playwrights discuss how they would approach a story they've heard about some stuff. One in comedic terms, the other dramatic. Both stories unfold but don't lead anywhere. Meandering film offers echoes and reminders of earlier, better movies by the director though it serves as a good showcase for the lead actress. Uh, the lead actor's dialogue is stuffed with one-liners uh, reminiscent of the director. Uh, so we had 12 actors, two stars, 2005, the same word appears twice in the title. What was our bidding starting at? 12. 12. The left. Nine. Doesn't it suck when you hear that title, then you have one movie stuck in your head, no matter what year it's from? Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, that. It's definitely that. Like, yeah. That was not. Like, oh, that was in... 1968. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with 1968 movies. Name it. Fuck you. You get nine of twelve. Now he's being lazy and just doesn't want to play. It's working okay. <laughs> nine yes, of, I get nine of twelve. I feel like you need eleven for it to be real helpful. Well, that's great. This could be a pussy. We got Larry Pine. Nope. We got Wallace Shawn. Nope. We got Vanessa Shaw. Nope. We got Gene Sachs. Nope. We got a fairly low build Josh Brolin. Huh. We got Brooke Smith. We got a baffling name. Chi Whitel Ageo Four? Yeah, Chi Whitel Four. Ageo Four. Whatever the hell his name is. Anyways. Okay, I, I like don't. Him. He's good, good times. Yo, you're a step ahead of me. Amanda Pete and Johnny Lee Miller. The top three you don't get. Two stars, 2005. Words repeated in the title. I know some names. Two playwrights discuss how they would approach a story, one in comedic terms, the other dramatic. Some other stuff. Johnny Lee Miller of Dexter Season 5? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, Well, 
I'm stumped, and I don't want this to drag on forever. So I say that it's... Uh... Nope, I got nothing. You got nothing. That makes it 3-1, Chewie. I feel like you guys... One of you might get it if I told you the director. Okay. Woody Allen. Double in the title? Yeah. No, maybe not. Uh, top three, Chloe Savigny, Will Ferrell, and Rado Mitchell. Nope. No? Uh, Wait. Oh, it's the one... Yeah, I, I know it. Yeah. Oh, it's a lady's name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, what? Uh, you thinking of Julia and Julia. It is not that. <laughs> Julia and Julia. Uh, it's, uh... I, I would never guess. Mayor, no. Mayor... Such an M? Yeah, it does. You're definitely... Mad Matilda, Madeline... You're very close. <laughs> yeah. Melinda and... M Melinda and Melinda. Melinda and Melinda, yeah. Yeah, okay. I would have never... Never seen it. Uh, no, I haven't seen it either. But... I do, I do like my Woody Allen, although I don't know. I like Woody Allen, too. I don't know if I, don't know if I love my 2000s Woody Allen. I Pretty hit and miss. All right, 3-1 for Justin, who picks again. I need to start he seeing some more movies. He's got this figured out. So, let's talk about... Uh, Sex, let's, maybe? let's go... I'm Cohen Insane. Me. <laughs> let's go, I'm Cohen Insane... Let's go four letter movie titles and let's go Mr. Anderson. Four letters. Four letters. How's about 1993, 2001, or 1996? 96. 96. Two stars, 11 actors. Actors, I'm sorry, I pronounced that wrong. So we've already established the correct pronunciation. And here we are. I am 100% baffled at the director of this movie. I'm going to tell you the director of this movie, and all it's going to do is fuck you up. <laughs> anyway, uh, two stars, 11 actors, let's talk about it first. Uh... The uh, the lead actor is the perfect choice to play the role, but the script goes nowhere. Overlong, too adult for kids, too redundant for grown-ups, destined to please no one. Still gave it two stars, though, so I guess it had some Something. redeeming factors. Uh, genre is listed as comedy and drama. Dramedy. So dramedy. Yeah. Dramedy, if you will. Uh, the director... Really don't let the director affect your <laughs> thinking on it. The director is Francis Ford Coppola. What the fuck? Wow. Which you would never fucking guess for this How movie. How many dramedies did he done? Yeah. <laughs> One? Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, good fucking luck, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, has anyway, been... four-letter title. That narrows it down. There's yeah. only so many four-letter titles. 1996. Two stars. Bidding starts at 12... Uh, make that 11. Make it start at 11. I will say 11 then. Oh, no, it's true. I will also say 11. Okay, I'll say 11. I'll say 10. You will say 10. What will you say? 9. You will say 9. I'm going to say name it. I think you made the right choice. We shall see. 9, so all but the top 2. I don't know if any... Nothing, nothing but the... Top one gives it away. So, Todd Bosley. Todd or Tom? Todd. Son of Tom? Maybe? I Don't know. hope it is. Adam Zolotin. <coughs> Alan Rich. Don Novello. Michael McKeon. Bill Cosby. Fran Drescher. Brian Kerwin. And Jennifer Lopez. Top two are left out. Overlong, too adult for kids, too redundant for grown-ups, destined to please no one, two stars nonetheless, so it actually will please about half of people. Uh, I'm going to say this is another movie I have not seen. You might. It, I'd say it's, it, you, you've absolutely heard of it. 
50-50 on whether you've seen it. Look, if it's I, a, I have seen it. If it's not Heat, I don't know it. <laughs> Heat is the only four-letter movie you've yes, seen? Yes, only okay. four-letter movie I've seen. That's fair. <coughs> what do we think? And by we, I mean you. Justin. Alexander. Chun. Man. Chu. Man. <laughs> that was comma, man, at the end. I was not suggesting that your last name that your last name is Chuman. <laughs> the Chuman Show. The Chuman Show. Ed Chuman. Ed Chuman. Fat man in IWA Mid South. Yes. Don't know if I could have told you off the top of my head that any of these people, even though I know many of them were in this movie. Although I only really remember the star in this movie. And I would be goddamned if you told me Francis Ford Coppola directed this thing. Lies, I've seen a second for a letter of Amazing. The movie. Amazing. Unprecedented. Stop the presses. Chud. <laughs> <laughs> we almost made it, folks. We almost made it without a goddamn Chud reference. <laughs> when are we going to watch it? We're not. I'll, we're, watch, we're, I'll watch it in honor of all of us. <laughs> watch it four times, each time for one of us. Yes, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't got it. I can't think of any four-letter name movies. Francis Ford Coppola. I start any of those The movies. Godfather. The Godfather Part 2. Apocalypse Now. The Godfather Part 3. That nobody saw. Jack. Really? What yes. The? Robin Williams with progeria, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the op- the op- Wayne would find him beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Would you have ever guessed Coppola directed Absolutely that? Absolutely not. Is that the weirdest you thing know ever? What? I yeah. think I knew that because I, really? I, I, I do own it and when I watched it, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah. are. Right up Coppola's out. <laughs> I, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know Jennifer Lopez was in it. I no. know Fran, Fran Drescher was in it. Yeah, yeah. Fran Drescher's his mom. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez is, his, ner- is yeah. his nurse or like, okay. teacher? So, teacher? Yeah. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Top two are Diane Lane, Robin Williams. No, Diane Lane's his mom. Oh, Diane Lane's his mom. Fran Drescher's Fran Drescher's, Oh, no, Fran Drescher's his, his best friend's mom who then tries to have sex with him. Uh, <laughs> Gross, Fran. He's ten. <laughs> Don't care what he looks like. Happened in big. <laughs> no, but it, uh, well, Tom Hanks, adult Tom Hanks, is definitely. I, I don't know. Magic was involved. <laughs> in that, so I think he it's was different. Still ten. But he was ten in mind, but he physically had like a thirty-year-old body. That's what was so Jack. Jack. He was but ten. No, but had a no, his, body. no, that body is still ten years old. No, it just he looks, looks different. Like an adult. He's so got a big him. dick for a ten year old. He's the only thing Fran Drescher's going on. She's disgusting. <laughs> She's going to jail. Holy, this is disgusting to be hit with. But... <laughs> oh, man. She had breast cancer. You leave her alone. So this is 3 2. It's the final one. 3 2 for Justin. And does Drew actually get to pick? No, because I told him to name it. Yeah, so you. Yeah, you oh, what yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go, I'm Cohen Insane. Let's go, Squeal okay. Like a Pig. <laughs> and let's go, Vanilla Ice. Movies vanilla. with vanilla or ice in the title. I'm going to go Cohen Insane. I'm Cohen Insane. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also have 1987, 1991, or... 2009. Or you can have the murderer we just put in the, heard in the bushes. 2009. I don't know you that I can think of... Pussy. Well, I don't know that I can think of them from like that. I'm sure that I, once I hear them, be like, oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. But right now, I can't... But to match it to the year. I can't think that far back about Cohen's... What year are we right now? 2009. We're 2009. Cohen movie. Yeah. Two stars. One of Leonard's lowest ratings for a Cohen movie. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm totally gay for the Coen, so I'm mad that he gave anything a low rating. But I guess as far as everything they've done, it's not among their top. But I don't know. Maybe some people... That, that's not of what I am um, Maybe some people automatically think it is thought of. Hard to say. Anyway, two stars. Did anybody else just hear that? That was an yeah. animal sneezing. <laughs> Raccoon <dying>. murder. <laughs> two stars, directed by Joel and Ethan Coen. Make sure they don't scamper up the... Yeah, I don't want them coming up here and slicing us up like piggies. <laughs> you can't fight, I'll fight them off. Well, <laughs> man, they got sharp claws and rabies. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Whose baby is the strongest? <laughs> yeah. Who's going to win out, Scott or Raccoon? I'll take him. We got two stars. We got 14 actors. What do we know about movie? Uh, chaotic, existential, highly detailed black comedy. Uh, the... Cohen's draw on their own upbringing for this grimly amusing fable, so anyone who grew up in a similar environment will easily relate. But one is forced to ask the same question as the film's protagonist, what does it all mean? Other than, life's a bitch, then you die. Life's a bitch, and then you die. You, at this point, you didn't do it like Vince McMahon. Well, I'm kind of glad I did Because <laughs> I did? Yeah. Oh, my joke's all tangled. They don't need to know that. Well, they do. Because they can't see me adjusting. It's fine. Look, there's no coons out there. Oh. Raccoons. God, goddamn coons call a rack. 14, the bidding starts at. Two stars. Oh, starts to me? Uh, oh, it's me, right? Yeah, you. Sorry, true. Uh... I'm going to go with zero. Hmm. Got to go minus one. And no, I won't say anything. You, you got to go minus one if you want to make it happen. Or more than minus one if you got balls of steel. Minus one. Minus one. I don't even know if I'm the right movie. Uh, I can't go minus two, and I'm concerned he can't go minus one. So I'm just saying name it. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> hey, he got just, three. He got three today, so... Well, now that we're set, so I'm not particularly giving anything away, I couldn't go minus one on this. Hmm. But, anyway. Uh, do you need the information again? No. Okay. So I'm dead set on the movie, or if it was right or wrong. Fair enough. I'll go in with the movie I went all in on, which is Just... after reading. No. Okay. Thoughts, Drew? A Serious Man? Yes. Yes! Good. I good. love that movie. Serious Man? Yeah. Yeah. That is a good goddamn movie. And the yeah. ending is fucking awesome. <laughs> tornado out of fucking tornado. nowhere. Just tornado. Crazy. That must yeah. have happened to them in their childhood? Just a tornado I don't know. Movie? I don't think the tornado, but I think the rest did. No, that movie is fucking great. Yeah. Like I said, like, I, I hate to give any, like, Cohen movie a bad rating, but I guess in everything they've done, yeah. it's on their lower end. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Could anyone name Minus One on it? No, I don't even I don't remember what the guy's it. name is. Michael Stuhlbarg. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't done much. No. I could name number two, Richard Kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, uh, yeah, he's pretty funny in that movie. And Adam Arkin, number five, I could have named. Uh, Five-ish Finkel. <laughs> oh, Five-ish. Simon Helberg. Jewish motherfucker. Yeah, I could name some of the random Jews in it, but uh, <laughs> could not have named number one. Uh, does that put it 3-3 three, three, Sudden Death? It certainly does. And Justin picks the category. I said I had the right director for the wrong year. Okay. Oh, you had the director. Yeah. 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 That's, like, I, that's why I was yeah. all in on that one. I think you're only one because it was 2008? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking 2010 was my one that I immediately went to, and I'm like... It's not right. The, the description didn't match it, right? No. Yeah. yeah like well, it's because as soon as you say it, you always get that one that you're like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to ignore the rest of this information because <laughs> this is what it is. Like, I had to force the, the review information to suit the movie, even though it was like maybe 60% lined up. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, it's like when we were doing Double Vision, the immediate movie, no matter what year you said, I went to Run, Fat Boy, Run. Immediately. Like, that was immediately what I went to. I was like, yeah. no, no answers, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's getting in my way. Just raccoons, but we're being surrounded. <laughs> Yeah, are they like? Are they organizing? Yeah, they're they're gathering. How shit. smart are raccoons? Are know. they real smart? Because if they are, now I'm worried. <laughs> I might just the scaling of the building going along the, the roof. Yeah, there. there's some scampering yeah, on top. Yeah. yeah, like on our scanners, they're like three meters, two <laughs> meters. <laughs> that can't be. That's inside the room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> References to movies that I haven't seen. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> What do we got? Let's go with uh, 2 Couleur or America. Films with red, white, and or blue in the title. Let's go with the, uh, Zero Names. <laughs> Zero names, where we get the whole review and the bidding starts at zero, or back to best picture losers. Who's picking? Oh, it's you. You. Oh, okay. Zero names, best picture losers, and Tuakulu. Ah, uh, uh, I'm going to give you your choice, an unprecedented <laughs> choice of four years. That's right. You heard me right. 1980. 1984, 1994, 2004. Wow, it's on a force. Mm. Three. <laughs> Three force. Big day. <laughs> we can probably split this episode into two parts, eh? For sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. Two hours oh, and four. 30 minutes. Oh, four. Oh, four is a good part. By the way, I am not going to bed today. Because. <laughs> no bedsies? Well, by the time I go to bed, it's going to be 2 o'clock and i got to get up at 4.20. Ooh, so smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so I get ah, for work. 2004, two stars, 11 actors. Stay it's tuned. Marbles, isn't it? Yeah. For all, this is for everything. She's just a better category. Your life has been a joke up to now. This is the serious shit. Two stars, 11 actors. Good actors in the leads and a distinctive goofball vibe are definite assets, but a spotty script too often fails to deliver on its promise. We won't even mention the toilet scene. Anthony Anderson appears on build, as he always does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, someone in the movie plays themselves. Mm. Has Red, White, or Blue in the title. 2004, two stars. Bidding starts at 11. Sorry, I'm 11. 11. Zero. Someone's got some balls. Description again, please. Good actors in the leads and a distinctive goofball vibe are definite assets, but a spotty script too often fails to deliver on its promise. We won't even mention the toilet scene. I mean, am I right, people? Anthony Anderson appears on Build, and someone plays themselves. Minus one to keep going, or I'll tell you to name it with zero. Drew has an air of confidence about him as well. He does. Name it. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? That does have a white in it, doesn't it? Well, luckily, you are correct. Harold and Kumar did, in fact, go to White Castle. I don't... Neil Patrick Harris plays himself. I could, I'm not sure if I could have gone negative, because what Cal Penn go? and John Chow... Ch- Cho. Cho would have been, like, I think I would have gone with Cho and then Calpen. You would have been wrong. Really? Calpen first? Kumar. Oddly, oddly, Kumar first and then Harrow. And then Neil Patrick Harris? No. The I, he, you know what? He's, he's not as big of a, a portable yeah, role in that he, one. Yeah, he's fourth. Uh, the girl, uh, Paula Garces. No, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I came back. Made the comeback. I ruined Chu's <laughs> Ruined <laughs> Chu's life. Is- Almost let him win something, but just couldn't couldn't do it even once. Couldn't do me solid. Couldn't do couldn't help a guy out when he's down. I could not. Let him win the fucking Leonard Malton game. Well, with you guys, wouldn't do it. 
You guys just wait till I'm the fucking dungeon master, and he'll all be sorry. Drew, in celebration, on his pad, has written, <laughs> and is now excitedly pointing to it, White is right. <laughs> Alright, you guys will be sorry when I'm the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, this whole taping has gone just over two and a half hours. We're going to break it up into two. So, until next time. I think I went first last time, but I don't care. Uh, people who post Dark Knight Rises shooting memes are shitheads. People who defend people who post the Dark Knight Rising Rises shooting memes are also shitheads. And people who need people and think they are the luckiest people in the world is a shithead. <laughs> <laughs>